Hey guys, what's up? We are coming to you today from Moorhead, Minnesota, right next to Fargo, my hometown. And we are at the Moorhead High School Career Academy. This is something that I've seen from the interstate so many times, and I've always wondered what is in this building. Well guys, you don't have to wonder anymore. Hey guys, thanks Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely, thanks we for got, coming. We got, uh, we got Tom here, and we got John, nice to meet you. and they're gonna be introducing themselves as we go along. But you guys, thanks so much for having me, and I am so excited to not only see this place, but to know what you do here. Because I've seen this from the interstate over there for a long time, yep. and I've been like, wow, that's a massive facility for Moorhead High School. Absolutely. Did they move to high school, or what? So. I don't think that happened, right? No, no, we did not move to high school. We uh, we just decided that it was time to open a career academy and we're looking forward to showing you around. All right, well, what's the first step? What, where should we go right out of the gate? So why don't we start, um, you know, we'll start with a little bit of a general tour of just kind of our commons area here and kind of talk a little bit about what are some of the things that we can do within that area. Great, all right, all right let's go. Okay. Awesome, let's do it. So one of the nice things about um, the area that we have, uh, obviously you can see it's a wide open space, lots of big garage doors, which allow us then to bring um, different industry partners in or whether we have career fairs, different opportunities for business and industry to come in and, and get in touch with students. And at the end of the day, you know, that's a really big goal of ours is just to make sure that we um, can get students as many opportunities and see all the different things that are out there, not just in our community, but also regionally and nationally. Wow, that's that's awesome. Yeah, so this is a big um, commons area during during our lunch hour. Um, the school students have lunch. Um, we have the ability to open these garage doors up. Um, as you can see right now, we have uh, a simulator in there. Um, currently, uh, a tight machinery simulator. There's ten simulators, training simulators in there, inside the unit there, so they can run those concurrently at the same time. So what kind of simulator is this about? So it's an implement simulator. The All right. idea you is mean it's related to agriculture? It is related to agriculture. What? As, as the agriculture instructor here at the Career Academy, I can get in touch with industry partners and I can ask them to bring in either the presentations or training simulators or whatever it is that they want to present or show the students mm -hmm. for career pathways in that industry. And we can partner with them. In this case, we do have the case uh, presentation here. We have the simulators, then there's 10 seats. They can go ahead and use those implements. They can figure out how the computer systems within the units actually operate. And they can learn how to operate them before potentially going down yeah. and, and figuring out how to go in that career. Well, I think you guys are gonna wanna see this just like I do. I think we should go take a look. This, it looks like the best entertainment system you could ever build. We've got tractor seats here with yes. consoles, control consoles, and you got the big screen TV as exhibited by John over here. So, uh, hey, this is Titan Machinery's rig. They were kind enough to let Moorhead High School Career Academy use this for useful purposes, getting students involved and getting them aware of it. And so I'm gonna take a seat and I'm gonna see how this is gonna be like. Tom, I think you better take the tall one. I'll take the bigger one over here. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, you can raise or lower them. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's air ride right there. That's a good air ride. Show, nice. me, show me that air ride. Wow. Oh yeah. It is air filled. Exactly. I'd say that they could definitely improve on the footrest, but this is, this is good <laughs> enough for me. All right, so we've got some controls in here. Looks like some throttles in case you got two engines, you know, stuff like that. Nope, maybe this is throttle. No, this is just forward this, and back. This is your throttle, your, your, back, your stationary and your forward. Okay. Um, but then as far as how you operate the system, you can customize the buttons up in here or the levers up in here, as well as a lot of how your program runs. And this is a touch screen as well. So you are able to operate a lot of the systems up on the screen itself and then toggle them using your buttons. As you can see, it's, it's a complicated program and it does take time to figure out how it works. Um, it, they go through a step-by-step -step process. It's very regimented so that the students can understand uh, from start to finish how to operate the piece of machinery. Mm. Okay. A guy like me or a student or a farmer, this makes perfect sense to really just get aware of this system, get trained in on it so you're not jumping in the tractor and wondering how do I even move this thing. So, hey, before we spend all day here in this comfy seat, let's move on to the next part of the tour. 
So if we have more... Um, you, you guys are serious. Like, you don't only just have a normal door into a lab. Yes. You, you have an overhead door into the lab. So all of our flex space That's spaces have um, not only doors here, but garage doors that can open up to kind of move the classroom out into the space or invite people into the space itself. So, wow. Yeah. Sign me up. You guys, it is a great time to be a high school student right now. I'm just going to say, and unfortunately, you'd have to be in the Moorhead School District, but you know, other school districts can aspire to be like this. So we all have keyless entries to get access to our rooms here. This is my, this is my agricultural flex lab here. So I'm able to do different types of labs. It's time um, to get out of class or get to class. And they have 15 minutes to get to their next class either inside the Career Academy or go over to the high school. So oh, we are okay. a high school that operates with two separate buildings. Okay. And so a lot of our electives of our trades and industry, art, business, yep. facts are over here. And our general classes, math, science, et cetera, are over at Okay, so this is really, really integrated into the high school. It it's not just a, hey, come over here if you are taking a skills class. It's, I mean, you guys, there's students coming back and forth. That's why I saw buses all the time. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, they run Makes on sense. a schedule. So every okay. 85 minutes is generally when we get another bus load in, and then they take those kids, shuffle them between the two buildings. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Absolutely. So in my agriculture class here, uh, we are working through a hydroponics system. We go through a lot of different AFNR, and AFNR means Ag, Food, Natural Resources. So it's a little bit specific as far as my curriculum, but uh, they, they look into different types of propagation methods and growth types. And in this case, we're using, um, we're using a hydroponic system, so utilizing water and, and uh, reducing the amount of peat and other non-renewable resources that we might rely upon to grow different types of plants. So this is a way to uh, do it in a more sustainable way, which is a lot of fun for the kids. It's a lot more hands-on, and then they can go ahead and learn by doing. So they were doing some egg mechanics, mm -hmm. and they were figuring out how to use pipe compounds and fittings and how water movement works. So the idea is that it does let the water flow out, regenerates its oxygen content within the roots, and then it can get water again in another half an hour or so. Now we've got some graffiti on the board behind us. I, is somebody just really artsy here? What's going on here? I, I utilize all my whiteboard space. I love <laughs> to keep a lot of this stuff on here so that as I work through my entire class, I can go ahead and reference it again. In something like soil composition, yeah. I can go ahead and say, hey, this has something to do with something later on in the semester. I like utilizing this. I think visually it makes sense for the students to be able to look at something and then helps them remember them, remember it on a longer term. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. If only all my rooms in my house could be like this. This was especially useful during parent-teacher conferences. Yeah. So we could help. We could be in our rooms, but also be very inviting to the parents that were oh, coming sure. into the space. Yeah, like, that was, it was fantastic. Hey, it's not a prison cell, it's just, right. it's just a room. Come you in. You can start expanding that classroom outward, invite yeah. people in. It's a garage, yes. Yes, do you like going to more career academy? I do. Great. It, it's really fun. I'm in welding and woodworking. Cool. Well, there you go. I wasn't expecting that, but that is so cool to actually get the... The welding side. Okay, so you made this in welding um, class. My teacher made it for me. Okay. And Was that like CNC or by hand? Wow, that's really good. Uh, CNC. Hand. So you're, are you guys learning about the programming of those tools? Um, those machines? We're allowed to, yeah. Yeah, very good. I have had so much fun here. You guys, if I only had this opportunity in high school, I would have been drooling. I would have been uh, skipping study hall. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, study hall is your favorite subject, isn't it? Well, I know I did the best in study hall. <laughs> yeah. That's one that we can all pass. All right, guys, so John's going to head out. Thank you. I appreciate you coming. I yeah. Appreciate that. Thanks so much for having us. He's got to go to class. Unfortunately, our times didn't work out where I could have him all day. But I guess Tom's still a victim. He doesn't have anything going on, so he's going to keep the tour going and keep us engaged. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you. So what do we got here? We have our automotive lab. Oh, wow. I am so blown away. This is so cool. We even got the Spudmobile. Wow, and it's got one boat seats in it. That is awesome. 
So is this something that the students did in class? Yes, yeah, so they, uh, they have the ability now to um, you know, work on the vehicles, obviously, but then they can customize anything they want. The Spudmobile is used in our parades during homecoming week. Yeah, you'd um, have to. This thing is a beauty. This thing is, is really nice. But Once a Spud, always a Spud? Once a Spud, always a Spud is the motto. Yeah. But we have, we have the opportunity for students to work on the, the wheel alignment, um, wheel um, balancing, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have the four lifts on the opposite side. We have nine toolkits that students can use at any time that RDO um, helped us get a hold of. So um, students are really geared and, and have the ability to um, not just work on things and see things, but actually you know put them into process and work. Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot of hands-on activities that they're able to do. Wow, you guys, that is incredible. That is a lot of life skills. In fact, I've always said, if you're handy, you won't go hungry. That's right. And at least if you have the basics figured out, like changing your own oil, maybe changing a tire, doing some mechanical things or things with your hands around the house. You don't need to hire that done. It's not gonna be a tax on your living expenses. Lyman table, maybe they call it. Look at this. So this is such a needed thing to have auto mechanics, uh, people experienced or interested in these kind of skills or trades. And uh, this is going to expose students a lot sooner than would maybe be traditional, right? Absolutely. You know, they, they can come out of um, Moorhead Career Academy uh, with industry certification. Um, wow. So they can um, basically go right into the work world and, and start participating and, and, and have good training. You know, this yeah. is, these are the same types of things that you would see at any automotive shop um, that you would drop your car off to get your uh, wheels aligned or your tires changed. Um, so students are going to have those opportunities in high school and hopefully be able to go out and um, be able to fulfill some of the open uh, careers that are out there. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to go to Wyoming Tech. Come on guys, this is where it's at. All right, so here we actually have, it looks like, parts going on and off or off and on a car. We've got a control arm going in the bottom. We've got a strut. Uh, these are things that I actually had did when I was growing up, but my dad had to teach me. He had, we had a shop, of course. He already had the tools. He had the knowledge, and he had the encouragement to keep me going when I would get stuck. Well, guess what? I think these kids are getting that without needing all those other things that may be a barrier to them entering or learning about these things. So this is really neat. Um, and you know what? I think there's something to be pr prideful of in a good way, a good pride, that you worked on a beater, or you had a beater and you worked on it when you're first starting to drive. I think another thing that's really neat is that we have our classrooms set up right off of the, the lab space. So, you know, students are able to go from learning in the classroom, being able to see exactly what they're going to be working on, and then um, they can just walk outside of the room and get right to work. Yeah. Um, and allows those students to carry over that knowledge that they're learning um, in the classroom, and then bringing it out and actually putting it right to, uh, to work on one of these machines. Absolutely, that is huge. I mean, it's just like instant, Instant training, instant, instant gratification. It's so many things that all come together right at once. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. How are we gonna fit an air seater in a door like that? Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to fit an air seater in here and rebuild it and work with the students to rebuild it, I mean. Wouldn't that be cool, you guys? Wouldn't that be so cool? Little ag influence in there? Yeah, I think so. The hands-on learning opportunities are, are so important for kids. Mm-hmm. Learning has changed a lot in the last 20 years. All right, we got some welding. We're gonna another a welding lab now. We take a walk down the old uh, welding side of things, our metalworks area. Wow, this is like state of the art, high end. Everything's here for multiple people. Yeah, we have so we have uh, 20 welding booths um, that have the MIG, TIG, and stick welding opportunities for students. Um, coming from the high school, where a couple students would have to. Do the MIG, a couple students would be on the TIG and a couple students would be on the stick. Now we can do all 20 students doing the same exact thing. Yeah. Uh, allows our instructors to have um, a little bit more flexibility with the, the stuff that they're working on and um, be able to keep kids a little bit more on track and online with um, you know, learning how to weld. Yeah, and they can compete against each other at the same time. Absolutely. Like, you know, hey, how, how good a weld was your weld? <laughs> Look at mine. Or, oh, mine was kind of bad. Yep. Hey. Lots of lots of different demonstrations on these tables about uh, all those things as well, working on the welds and, and getting kids to be able to learn how to, to put a good bead down. Oh, look at that. 
This is really cool. This is the uh, evidence of learning right here. I love it. Our welding lab, easy transition into our CNC plasma cutter, um, which is, is nice to be able to have our whole metals lab between um, this area here, our, our plasma cutter, and then our welding is all in the same area. Um, so students can jump from doing one thing to the next. Um, they can be working on one project. A lot of kids did some uh, student projects that you can see they're kind of sprawled out on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, but it really is just nice to be able to show them how to do um, some more of the computer side of things and then um, provide them an opportunity to really get in and, and just uh, you know, make it. Instead of learning about it and seeing it done in a book or on a presentation, mm -hmm. actually being able to do uh, the actual work is, is pretty re refreshing and, and rewarding for those students. Oh yeah, and when you play with something and you have fun doing it, it, it piques your interest, right? Absolutely. And when you make something that you can have your name in or take home, it's like, pff, this is something I could get into, this is something I could do for a career even, or I'd be willing to do this for a few years and see where it takes me, you know? Right. So this is really good, this is really cool. And how valuable to employers, you guys, to have this background. If, if you've even seen the machine and touched it in your past, History, this is so valuable. It's better than someone who has no experience with it. So this is, this is phenomenal. Thank you. Howdy. This is Matt. Hey. Matt. Are you recording me? I am, yes. So how's everything going so far? Good. Do you, you like the place? I'm very impressed. What, uh, what's most impressive so far? I wish this was my shop, I can tell you that. If I had a shop like this, I would be in heaven. Uh, you know, so far in a year and a half, I haven't gotten bored. So. All right. What's one of the th What's some of the things that, or maybe one thing that you really appreciate about this program and being a part of it? I would say my favorite thing about being part of this program is showing kids that manufacturing can be a good career. I like to see the kids get a get a hold of an electric, run a beat. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's not very good. Here's what you need to do to fix it. And they go back and they do a better job. They do a better job. This is one of the few classes in which, if you get it wrong, you do it again and again, and again until you get it right. And and some kids, some kids just have a, a feel for it. They just they just get it and it goes. Other times, you don't really struggle for a while. Yep. But in the grand scheme of things, I thoroughly like watching kids progress from yeah. from not knowing how to do anything to doing really well. Very cool. So, well, you sound like a good fit. So, yeah, and I like my job, you know, most of the time. But this is so cool to be able to link passion and skill and and career together and help students out too. That's another sure. big added bonus. And you guys, look at them go. Really cool program, this welding thing. I am stoked. Everybody should be a part of this, even if you don't want to be a welder. You should just learn. So our wood lab um, is very similar to all the other lab spaces that we have, uh, where we uh, have for students to be able to do some hands-on work. They're in class right now. Class is in session. So our wood lab allows us to um, give students that opportunity to build learn what tools are, uh, how to, mm -hmm. you know, use a, uh, a lathe, how to use, uh, you know, the, the table saws. Yep, um, without to, cutting your fingers off. Yeah, to glue <laughs> items, to, to make things, um, mm -hmm. to give them that experience, the real world experience of, I enjoy working with my hands, what can that lead to? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's typically the whole goal of this entire place, is just give students an opportunity to explore and, and open their eyes to different um, careers that are out there that, you know, even if it doesn't become a career, it might become a passion that you do on the side or mm -hmm. something that you do to um, you know, provide yourself a little bit of the release from the, the five days a week work that you're doing. Right, sitting in a cubicle. Absolutely. Where you should be doing some of your right. hands eventually. Absolutely, so yeah. it just no, gives that, those there's, there's something to say about that. Absolutely. Just like in one of my past videos, you'll see me driving a combine, driving a green cart. It's because I just needed something different. I needed some therapy and that was my therapy. Absolutely, so we have a lot of different therapy options. When it comes to uh, <laughs> That's a great way to working say it. with your hands. Um, a lot of therapy options. This Moorhead High School Career Academy is your therapy options for your career. And uh, really cool. Wow, what is this? This is our uh, construction lab. Um, so students are able yeah. to um, work with basically building a, 
uh, yeah. building a building that allows them to put in the subfloors, to put in the flooring, to put mm -hmm. up the walls, to put in the electrical, to put in the plumbing, to put windows, um, put in the framing for all of that stuff. All right. And they set it up in this um, area over here, as you can see, it's, it's blank right now, but uh, throughout the year, you will start to see it go from a, a subfloor to, um, they'll put walls on, they'll put the roof on, um, they'll put shingles on, they'll build it all the way up and then they'll tear it all back down again and reuse okay. the product. So okay. um, it's just a really good opportunity for kids to kind of see what that looks like. Um, once again, the experience of, of knowing how to do your own basic electrical yep. um, is really important. Yeah. And whether it's because you want to go into a career or whether you want to uh, switch out the light switches in your own house, yep. um, being able to know what you're doing is, is, is the name of the game. So right. um, this space allows us to do that, uh, to be able to give our kids the opportunities to explore uh, the construction side of the world when it comes to uh, framing uh, a house. Wow, very cool. This is, I, I remember when I was in high school, I couldn't fit all the skills, trades, um, shop classes in. You know, you just don't have enough time in your, your senior year, junior year. And so hopefully, maybe that's improved, but I know you kind of had to pick a few options. Maybe you wanted to do four, but you had to pick two. And uh, this is just really cool though. Students can still have a wide spectrum of options and be like, you know what? I think I might like to build my own house someday or work on a framing crew. And uh, here's where I can learn about that and see if it's something I'd want to do or not. It's, it's throughout the year you will see how it builds from, you know, you'll go on a tour and one day you'll see them working on the floors and then the next day they're working on the plumbing. Mm -hmm. and the next day they're putting the windows in. Uh, so it's really cool to see that process of how it goes from just a blank space, basically an open canvas, um, to being able to fill that with actual content mm -hmm. um, that they can see that they have built that. It's been up on a different Oh day. man, you guys, there's so much more to see on this tour and I don't even have the time. He doesn't have the time. Tom, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming And out. I think there does need to be a part two. Absolutely. Somehow we're gonna get back here and we're gonna see what else is in the Moorhead High School Career Academy because I would love to see some of this and the arts and some of these other things I've just heard rumors of so far. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tracking with us. And you know what? If you have an interest in one of these skills or something, make sure you talk to your high school, make sure you talk to your, your school district and make it a priority, get involved, be a part of getting that in, in action or be a part of improving it. This is so cool and it's so good for our community and our region and our, and our country. All right guys, God bless, out. They created, tell us first off what the, the project goal was. Okay, so we were in a entrepreneurship. We were making an app, an app that we created. No way. Um, and we had to brand ourselves, and make websites, and make products and all that stuff. So it's not just about like a hands-on, I mean, this is all hands-on, but it's not just a like working with wood, working with metal. You guys are doing technology stuff. You're doing uh, websites apps, stuff like that, right? Yeah. That is so cool. So what's your app? This is By Time. It's a social fishing app. Um, I decided to create it because uh, there isn't really a specific app out there for it. And because me and my dad like to go to fishing tournaments together. Oh, fishing. It's meant for uh, everybody that's getting into fishing. Veterans, beginners, everyone. There's some of icons and logos. Light and dark variants. There's some screenshots. We have a built-in GPS for lakes where you can see other fish. No fishermen. way. Hey, can I buy this app? I'm sold. Like I literally was wanting to do that when I was fishing last time at this new lake. Like, hey, what depth should I fish at? What kind of fish are here? Right? I think your GoPro died. And these are three of our products. They're not as good. There's no bait fish. We decided to make a website to help with the long run and to help. I guess expand our business and marketing more. This is our print advertisement. Get by its worth of time with my time. You got a lot of fish. These are our three products, mainly focusing on the sunglasses. What type of fish are you geared for? All kinds, but mainly like competitive wise for bass. Okay. This is Jacob Wheeler. He's the number one bass fisherman right now. Is he going to be sponsoring this product? Yes. Sponsor. Nice. It's like, it's like the mascot of the company. Nice. It's our Instagram app. 
we decided to go to TikTok and Instagram because they're like the most popular right now. Yep. You can spread out. So you guys basically developed a business case like if we were to have a, a platform or a, a product or a service, what would we do? How would it look start to finish, right? Yeah. It's like a whole marketing and sales department yeah. or this project. This is your entrepreneurship class, correct? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, very good. Well, hey, you guys can't have him, so I'm not going to tell you his name because I'm hiring him first, so <laughs> don't even ask. It's okay. Good job.